in this video we're going to learn about how to solve uh, logarithmic equations so the major technique is we're going to convert the logarithmic equations to the exponential equation so that means uh, we have uh, y equal log uh, base a x so general base a we know that this is if and only if uh, x equal a y so that means if x equal a y you can write this one as y equal log a x if y equal log ax, uh, you can write as this one as x equal a y. So uh, what we will remember is the log is the index. That's what we will remember. And also we know that the a has to be uh, positive. We assume that a is positive and a not equal to 1. Good. So uh, solving logarithmic equations normally follow uh, three steps. So let's talk about them. So we have three steps. Uh, so the first one is we can isolate the log terms that's the first step so isolate uh, the log term i just say log log term i just try to get to one side uh, the second one is we can write the uh, exponential form so uh, write the exponential form of that using the uh, result uh, using the definition this is actually the definition of the logarithm using this so write uh, the exponential form exponential form and then once you have the exponential form and we learn how to solve exponential form uh, problems in the previous section so we're going to follow them to solve for the variable so solve uh, for the variable solve for the variable uh, it normally like x or t or any other variable. Okay, so those are the three steps that we're going to use to solve our uh, logarithmic equations. So we're going to go through uh, several types. So we're going to talk about uh, basically three different types. Uh, so let's talk about the first type. Uh, so type one. So type one is there's a uh, there's only a one log term. There's only one log term. So that's the uh, type one problem. That's only one log term. So for example, let's look at uh, uh, this one. So uh, say example, solve. So the first one, uh, let's say we have ln x equal three, something like that. So this is a base E problem. Uh, so we, if you recall the uh, definition, uh, we know that the ln x y if and only if x equal e to the y so that's the definition so we can use that here ln means natural log so that means uh, the base is e the base is e so that means just uh, writing the exponential form uh, so we can say uh, using the exponential form Using the exponential form, you can write this one as x equal e to the, because the base is e, e to the 3. So that's the solution. Uh, so if you use a calculator, uh, you can see that this is roughly uh, 20.09 if you uh, round it to two decimal places. So we normally round it to two decimal places. Okay, so that's how you solve it, and you can see it's a very simple problem. Uh, so let's look at another one. So let's say uh, problem number B. Let's say we have a log base 3 uh, 5 minus 2x equal uh, let's say uh, 2 some numbers okay now again uh, what we can do we can write this using the exponential form so uh, so writing uh, writing are uh, the equation Write the equation in the exponential form. Exponential form. So you can see the base is 3 now. The power is 2. That means you can rewrite this one as uh, 5 minus 2x. That is the number. Uh, in this case, uh, like this is uh, the 5 minus 2x corresponds to x in the general equation. So it's 5 minus 2x. This is equal to 3 to the power 2 just that's the exponential form so 3, 3, uh, 3 to the power 2 means 9 
you can see this is very easy to simplify now what we, we have is 5 minus 2x equal 9 so uh, so this is the 2x and uh, 9 minus 5 which is 4 and then what we can do is we can divide both sides by 2 negative 2 so we're going to divide both sides by negative 2 and you end up getting x equal uh, 4 over negative 2 which is negative 2 so that's the solution so you can see these are very simple uh, what we do is we use the exponential form for these problems uh, so let's do another different example so we did uh, one like very simple one ln x equal 3 and then we do uh, base 3 so let's do another one uh, using another base uh, like little complicated one so how about this one so this is c uh, we're going to solve log base 2 x squared minus 2x equal 3. How about this one? So again, uh, it's a very simple idea. It's the same for because it's only one term. So writing in exponential form, so you can say rewriting. Rewriting in exponential form. Rewriting in exponential form, you can rewrite this one as x squared. Uh, this term, so this is x squared minus 2x, which is equal to uh, the base is 2 now, so it is uh, 2 to the 3, which is 8. That means if you bring all the terms to one side, which is x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0, and we know how to solve these kind of problems, we're going to factor. So this is very easy to factor. So we have negative 8. You can write this one as the product is negative 8. Sum is negative 2. That means the numbers are negative 4 and 2. So that means the factors are x minus 4 and uh, x plus 2 equals 0. And then uh, equating uh, each factor equal to 0, you're going to get x equal 4 or x equal negative 2. Now you have to be careful uh, whether those are all valid solutions and you can see that when you plug in 4 and negative 2 uh, it can uh, it satisfies the equation because sometimes you get uh, solutions which are not uh, expected but in this case both works so the solutions are x equal 4 and x equal negative 2. Good. Uh, so let's look at another one uh, which is slightly uh, different from uh, what we have here. So D, how about this one? 4 plus 3 log 2x equals 16. When you write just log, you have to put a parenthesis if there are more than two terms because otherwise you just take the log of the first term only, but that's not the case. Uh, okay, so this is very easy to simplify. Uh, you're gonna bring four to the other side, so that means we can rewrite this one as three. Log log means the base ten, so this is a, a base ten problem. Base a equal ten. I mean just, just log means base ten. Okay, so it's three log two uh, x. So if you subtract uh, four from both sides, it's gonna be twelve. Now we divide by three, so you can rewrite this one as log two x, which is uh, 4 over uh, 4 over 3 means uh, 12 over 3 means 4 okay now this is you isolate the log term since I isolate the log term now we can do the uh, using the exponential form using the uh, exponential form you can read this one as 2x equal the base is 10 so 10 to the 4 so 10 to the 4 means 10,000. So what you can do, you can divide by 2. So x equal uh, 10,000 divided by 2, which is uh, 5,000. That's the answer. And you can see that that works. Okay, so those are the type 1 problems. Let's go to type 2. So when in the type 2, what we're going to do, uh, we can talk about uh, more than uh, one term. Yeah, more than one term. That's a type 2. Type 2. 
because you can see that the for type one is one turn so this is more than one turn more than uh, one term so if there are more than one term what we're gonna do is we can write using one term so uh, rewrite uh, using uh, one log if possible so there are uh, like a two different type of problems uh, because sometimes what we have we have log on both sides or we have log on one side so there are two type of problems so what we can do we can rewrite using one log so that's the uh, that's the goal uh, so let's try to uh, look at a problem uh, like this also when you have more than one term uh, the solution would be like a domain specific because there are two terms the two functions have different domains so you have to be very careful so let's recall what what we mean by a domain of a log function so under type 2 we need to also worry about the domain so uh, the domain uh, so we know that the y is the uh, log function so like any base uh, and then so there are two different type of graphs so uh, so the first type of graph is so we have uh, a greater than one so if a greater than one the graph gonna look like this this asymptote and it's passed through one that's the that's for a uh, greater than one and then when a uh, is in between uh, one and zero what will happen the graph uh, gonna be like this the shape of the graph uh, for uh, a between uh, 0 and 1 so what happened in those cases you can see in both cases the domain is uh, from 0 to infinity so that's a one of the things that you need to be careful so the domain uh, in both cases is x such that x greater than 0 or from 0 to infinity so that means you want to make sure that the values you're going to plug in are in uh, uh, are positive so so we can use that idea also when you try to solve uh, problems with more than uh, one term so let's look at a problem and see how how we can use this idea uh, so let's look at this problem uh, so let's say solve let's say a log Five x plus six plus log five x plus two equal one. Uh, so you can see that there are two terms now. So the first thing, let's see what is the domain of this function because you want to make sure that uh, this is positive and that is positive. So uh, so we can say. Uh, so the answer for logarithms to be defined for uh, logarithms to be defined uh, we need uh, we need x plus 6 greater than 0 and we got the at same x should satisfy both x plus 2 greater than 0 this means this means x is uh, greater than negative 6 and x is greater than negative 2 so that means x has to be greater than the large one so that is x has to be greater than negative 2 because there are two but it satisfy both conditions that means x should be x should larger than the larger one larger than the larger one good so that means but, uh, if you get a solution which is smaller than negative 2 that's not a valid solution uh, or negative 2 is also not no, not going to work because that's going to give you 0 0 is not in the domain okay so we know that fact so now what we can do uh, because since there are two terms we're going to bring it to one term 
and then we can use the uh, the exponential uh, we can transform the exponential form and then we can solve under that so that part we know uh, so so let's go to the uh, equation again so we have uh, so if you combine the two and you can see that there are two and this is the sum sum means you're gonna multiply the two functions so you're gonna rewrite this one as like this so we can rewrite this one as log 5 you're gonna multiply the two functions which is x plus 6 and x plus 2 so this works for any any factors like that this is equal to 1 because this is coming from uh, one of the log uh, property so that means if there's a, um, a product it simply become the sum of the logs this is the uh, property 3 in the uh, log functions okay now what we can do you can see this is only one log so we can write this as the uh, exponential form so writing Uh, the uh, exponential form exponential form uh, you can write this one as uh, the function is x plus 6 times x plus 2 which is equal to the base is 5 5 to the 1 which is 5 and you can see this is simple algebra algebraic equations so if you if you distribute uh, the left hand side you're gonna get x squared plus 6x plus uh, 2x plus 12 which is equal 5 and if you bring everything to one side you end up getting x squared plus 8x plus 7 equals 0 so now what you can do is uh, we can use the the factoring method for this one we're going to factor uh, so when you factor and uh, you're going to see that uh, you're going to get x plus 7 and x uh, plus 1 so those are the uh, factors those are the factors which is equal to 0 so that means uh, x plus 7 equals 0 or x plus 1 equals 0 so this says that x equal negative 7 or x equal negative 1 but since we know that x has to be uh, greater than negative 2 so we're gonna uh, remove this solution because that's not a solution since x has to be greater than negative 2 the solution is the solution is x equal negative 1 so that is the only solution we're gonna get because the other solution is uh, not a valid one yeah because that's not in the domain good so the solution is x equal uh, negative 1 so uh, you can try this problem for practice so try this one so you're gonna say solve how about log uh, x plus 2 plus log x minus 1 equal 1 and see whether you're gonna get the answer for this problem the answer should be only x equal 3 so you should get x equal 3 good so uh so let's look at uh, another problem uh, so actually before we look at another problem we're gonna go to the uh we can discuss some other property so what we call the uh the one-to-one -one property of the log functions because we need that to solve the uh, next type uh, so the type three uh, so let's talk about property So we know that the uh, y equal uh, log x is a one-to-one -one function it's a one-to-one -one function again why this is one-to-one -one? Uh, because it's coming from the graphs because we know that the two graphs are uh, simply uh, this is one graph which is increasing that's for a greater than one and the other graph is uh, this one for a is in between uh, 0 and 1 so you can see that both are either one is increasing or decreasing so we know that the increasing decreasing functions are one to one so since it is one to one uh, we have this property so we can say that if the log log a x equal log a y if the function values are the same it should impl imply that the input values are the same so we can use that property that's the pro uh, that's coming from the one-to-one -one. 
So we can use that idea. So we can talk about the uh, type three now, type three problems. So uh, we can equate the two functions like that. Okay. So type uh, three. Type three. Uh, use one to one uh, property. Good. So let's look at a, a problem uh, like this. So this is solved. So look at the first one. Um, two log one half x equal log uh, one half three. So the base is uh, one half. Okay. So what we're gonna do is uh, so in these types uh, we have log on both sides. Okay, so we have log on both sides. Uh, so first, we're going to bring this uh, power inside. We can isolate the log terms. So we can write this one as a log 1 half x squared log 1 half 3. Now since the log is a, a 1 to 1 function, so since uh, log function is 1 to 1 uh, we can say x squared has to be equal to 3 so we're gonna equate the two functions because log is 1 to 1 and uh, now what we can do we can take the square root so x equal uh, plus or minus square root 3 but when you think about the domain you know that uh, because the, the, this x should be able to plug into the first function but you can see that x cannot be negative uh, so we can say since uh, the domain, since the domain is x greater than zero, the only solution that you get is x equal square root three. So negative square root three is not a solution. Okay, so let's look at a uh, uh, like a t problem with uh, more terms. So how about this one? Uh, let's say we're going to solve uh, ln x equal ln uh, x plus 4 minus ln x minus 2. Problem like that. So there are there are three terms here. So again, uh, let's look at the domain of this function. So there are three functions. So uh, x x plus 4 and x minus 2. We want to make sure that all of them are positive. Uh, so that means we can see the uh, so domain requires that domains uh, you can see require that uh, x is positive from the first one x plus 4 positive from the second one and x minus 2 greater than from the third one uh, that is x is positive again and then x is greater than negative 4 and x greater than 2 so that means there are 3 so uh, x has to be larger than the largest one so largest one is 2 so that means x has to be greater than 2 uh, so this means that This means that x greater than 2. So that's the domain. So that means if you get any solution which is uh, equal to 2 or less than 2, that's not a solution. Okay, so now we know how to solve this one. We're going to combine the two log functions and we're going to have two log functions, two sides, and we're going to use the one to one property and we can solve it. So combining the two terms on the right hand side, we can write this one as uh, ln x equal ln x plus 4 divided by x minus 2. Where you divide because it's a subtract problem, that means you're going to divide the uh, terms inside. Good. Now, because of the uh, 1 to 1, so since log is 1 to 1, uh, since the log function, the ln function, I can say ln specifically here. Since um, 
y equal ln x is uh, 1 to 1 we can uh, what we can do we can write we can equate the two functions x equal x plus 4 over x minus 2 okay so that's what you get now what we can do we're going to multiply both sides by uh, x minus 2 and we can uh, write this one as x times x minus 2 equal x plus 4 so this says that this is x squared minus 2x equal x plus 4 if you bring all the terms to one side this is uh, x squared uh, x squared uh, minus 3x minus 4 equals 0 so we can write this one as x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0 this is very easy to find factors the factors are x minus 4 and x plus 1 which is equal to 0 and then solving you're going to get x equal 4 or x equal negative 1 now we're going to think of the domain and the domain says that uh, you can see since because the domain is x has to be greater than 2 since uh, x equal negative 1 is not in the domain it's not uh, in the domain it's not in the domain the solution is uh, you can see the solution is uh, x equal 4 so that's the only solution we're gonna get good so you can try uh, this as an exercise you can see uh, how we uh, kind of follow the steps so what we have when we have more terms uh, first thing what we need is we look at the domain what is the domain and then after we look for the domain then we're going to do is we're going to combine uh, the two terms uh, to one term in each side and then we're going to use the one to one property and then we're going to set the two function equals zero and then we get an algebraic expression from the algebraic expression you can uh, solve this uh, so let's try this one so let's say solve uh, uh, ln x uh, equal ln x x plus 6 minus ln x plus 4. Uh, so the answer to this problem should be uh, x equal 6. Okay, see whether you're going to get x equals 6. Good. Uh, so the next one so next is type 4 so in type 4 what we can do are uh, we gonna use a substitution so use a substitution uh, so let's look at a problem and it will be clear uh, how so what we can do we're gonna convert uh, using substitution we're gonna convert into a algebraic expression so for example uh, this problem let's say solve uh, ln x plus 2 ln x uh, square root uh, ln x square root uh, let's say minus 3 equals 0 so something like that so what we're going to do is we're going to substitute for the smallest term uh, so um, we're going to say a uh, let u equal ln x square root so then what happened when you square both sides you can see u square equal ln x so if you square square root you get x uh, in this case ln x you get ln x good so that means you can rewrite the equation uh, like this so you can rewrite the equation and, and also uh, and then x is positive uh, because uh, x is in the domain of ln x so we know that too then if you get a negative value that's not gonna work okay so that means uh, because of that then you can rewrite the equation as because ln x is u squared you can write the equation as u squared plus 2 ln x square root means u minus 3 so what we're gonna we're gonna factor this is very easy to factor so the factors are uh, you can see u plus 3 and u minus 1 those are the two factors you're going to get uh, so this says that u equal negative 3 
OU equal 1. So now you're going to put that back uh, the uh, ln function. So this says that u is ln x, so it's ln x equal negative 3, which is possible. And u equal, uh, so this is uh, ln x equal 1. So this says that ln x uh, equal 1. Uh, now writing the exponential form, this says that x equal e to the negative 3 or 1 over e cube. Or this says that x equal e to the 1. e to the 1 means e. And you can see that since both are positive and these two are the, the solutions. So this is how you solve a problem like that. So let's do one last problem. Uh, actually, I'm going to give you one for you to try. So you can try uh, this one for practice. Uh, so let's say solve uh, ln x minus 3 uh, ln x square root plus 2 equals 0. Okay, so let's do uh, one last problem. Um, example. So let's say uh, solve 2 log 1 third to the x minus 1 minus log 1 third to the uh, x squared plus 1 equal negative 2. So this is not a substitution problem, this is just a, like a little complicated problem. So we have a, a 2, so you're going to bring this as a power. So that's what you do, and then going to combine. Uh, so you can rewrite this one as a log 1 third x minus 3 squared minus log 1 third x squared plus 1 equal negative 3 and negative 2 and then you're going to combining we can write this one as log 1 third so this is x minus 3 squared divided by because the negative sign means a division divided by x squared plus 1 equal negative 2 and then uh, Using the exponential form, you can write this one as x minus 3 squared over x squared plus 1 equal 1 third to the negative 2. How to simplify that? So you can write 1 third as 3 to the negative 1 and then negative 2. What you can do is you can multiply the two powers. So you're going to get uh, 3 squared, which is 9. So that means you can write this one as x minus 3 squared equal, if you multiply by the denominator, 9 times x squared plus 1. Now what we're going to be going to distribute, uh, the first one uh, using the foiling, you can write this one as x squared minus 6x plus 9. Because it is always the first term is squared, the last term is squared. In the middle, you're going to multiply the two terms and multiply by 2. And this is equal 9x squared plus 9 and you see 9 and 9 get cancelled so if you cancel 9 and 9 and bring all the terms to one side you have this equation you can see that it is 8x squared uh, plus 6x equals 0 if you divide by 2 and factor x you see that is x times if you divide by 2 you're going to get 4x plus 3 so this says that x equals 0 or uh, 4x plus 3 3 equals 0. So this says that x equals 0 or x equal negative 3 fourth. But uh, we know that uh, since uh, x has to be positive, uh, you can see that none of them works uh, for this one. So there are there are no solutions. There are no solutions. Uh, for this problem there are no solutions so you can also uh, so that's how you solve the problem so you can also solve this as a practice problem uh, yeah. solve uh, this problem as a practice problem good this is the uh, how you solve uh, logarithmic equations and we talk about four different types